In Texas, suicide is the second leading cause of death from ages 15 to 34. And did you know in Texas, suicide is the third leading cause of death from ages 10 to 14? And more than twice as many people in Texas die by suicide than by homicide. Join us September the 9th at the Del Mar Center for Economic Development as we officially kick off Suicide Prevention Month. Hey everyone, welcome back to Coastal Living. Now you may recognize that video from our interview last week with Dr. Sissy reynolds Perez and Todd Hunter, who held a symposium yesterday which had an amazing turnout with a bunch of youth from here in the Coastal Bend, including other members of the community who came together to raise awareness about suicide prevention. And it looked like it was an incredible turnout. We'll have to share photos later in the week. But those stats are very serious and we wanna share even more information with you on how to find help if you struggle with these thoughts. So yes, suicide may be difficult to discuss, but silence can lead to a tragic result. Knowledge can save lives, and the message that things can get better is more important today than ever before. The World Health Organization reports that around the world, one person takes their own life every 40 seconds. Suicide is the second leading cause of death for young women ages 15 to 29. More than half of suicides are committed by people under the age of 45. Experts say 20% of suicides are spur of the moment decisions caused by stress. So it's imperative to make sure that families, teachers and adolescents are educated about suicide prevention and ideation. Like chest pain, suicidal thoughts, all of these things indicate a medical emergency that needs immediate treatment. As Dr. Kate Rodriguez mentioned, reach out, call 911, find help. Changes in behavior, sleeping less, sleeping too much. Maybe you're not eating, maybe you're overeating. Now these seem like some pretty broad signs, but they're all signs that someone may need help. If you feel like you or a friend kind of fits this description, please call 1-800-273-8255 or message the crisis text line. All you have to do is text the word hello to 741-741. There's also a veterans crisis line that you can dial with the same number, 1-800-273-8255. After that, you just press one, or you can text 838-255 to connect with a VA responder ready to help you get through your feelings, thoughts, and emotions. So here we have listed a, some mental health resources and suicide hotlines. So you'll see the Behavioral Health Center of Nueces County. They have 24-7 psychiatric crisis hotline at 1-888-767-4493. We also have Bayview Behavioral Hospital. That's 361-986-8200. Christus uh, Spahn Hospital Memorial Coastal Plains Community Center, that's 1-800-841-6467. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, the 24-7 National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-8255. Here we have five action steps to help somebody suffering from emotional pain. You can talk to them, just be there. Sometimes it's a matter of just listening and not saying a word. Sometimes it's a hug, a physical touch, holding their hand and letting them know that they are not alone and that their feelings are okay to have. So guys, if you or anyone you know is suffering with these feelings and emotions, please take it upon yourself to find the help, to offer help, to get them the contact information they need to make their lives better, to improve their mental health and to give them many, many more years of happiness on this earth. All right, up next, one of the best ways to improve your mental health is sometimes to clean up and get organized. 